Hi, I'm back. Yes, I know I've been gone for two weeks. I've been traveling, been doing some things, played in a pro baseball game against the Burlington Sock Puppets and Disco Turkeys. That video should be out later this week, but I'm back and I'm ready to start grinding again. And I know I've said this a million times, but I, I actually am. I'm ready to start talking baseball with you guys again. I had a nice little break. So I know I'm a little bit late to the party here, but you guys remember Wordle? Well, there's an MLB version of it. It originally was called Wordle. It's now called Pickle. It's been picked up seemingly by Major League Baseball. It's on their website now. I'll leave a link in the description. Shout out to Jeremy Frank and Zach Ellis for creating this. It's awesome. It's Wordle for baseball. It's really that simple. If you guys want to see me do more of this on the channel, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to show that you want me to do more of this as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you because the content's coming out. I've got bangers, bangers lined up for like the next month. Trust me. So here we are mlbpickle.com you guess a player and i'll just kind of walk you through it as we go so we have to just think of a player first and foremost let's pick someone from the mets let's pick eduardo escobar because he hit for the cycle last night we type in eduardo escobar we hit click and you start to see okay so he's not on the mets the player he's not in the national league east yellow what does yellow mean exactly yellow in the batting or position column indicates that you're you're kind of right i mean when he's a switch hitter means technically he, he does hit righty or lefty and he throws righty he's not from venezuela when you look at the age yellow indicates they're within two years of the player's age so he's not 31 to 35 and he doesn't play third base at all so what we've learned is it's not in the national league or the east because if it was that would come up yellow so that means it's either american league central or american league west they're either older than 35 or younger than 31 and they're not from venezuela or playing third base but they do throw right handed i kind of like julio rodriguez i'm gonna go with julio rodriguez i think this could be a decent guess okay so we know it's in the american league we know it's gonna be the central because it's not the east and it still throws right handed he's not young okay Got it. He's a left-handed hitter. So American League Central, left-handed hitter. That is a little, not, not the youngest player. And they don't play the outfield. I guess this could also be a pitcher, but that's confusing. Let's just think about hitters right now. Again, I'm, try I'm trying to think of this in the least amount of moves possible. I'm trying to think of like a left-handed first baseman, maybe? Is there one outside of Carlos Santana? On the Guardians, we have what? Maybe, maybe Josh Naylor? I kind of like Josh Naylor a little bit. Let's try him out. Okay. Ooh, that was a really, really good guess. We learned a ton. So I didn't think he's a left-handed thrower, but we know he's on the Guardians. We know he's in the AL Central. He's a left-handed hitter, right-handed thrower, and he's Canadian. He's Canadian on the Guardians. There's they have more Canadians. Who could this be? And I, I think it's going to be a pitcher because we have first base, third base, and the outfield covered. At some point, one of those guys probably would have played there. Who is a right-hand pitcher? Bieber's not Canadian. Police Act's not Canadian. Is Cal Quantrill Canadian? Is Cal Quantrill Canadian? That's the real question. Because Tristan McKenzie's not. I don't think they're going to go with some random reliever. It's not going to be Emmanuel Classe. Let's let's go Cal Quantrill. Let's go Cal Quantrill. I really don't know if he's Canadian or not. Oh, let's go. It is Cal Quantrill. Love that. Okay, so as you can see, four turns it took me to get Cal Quantrill. You kind of see how the game works here. Now, of course... You can only do one a day, so we can't do more on the MLB Pickle website. I'm down to do like a week of these for a video if you guys want. Just drop a like on the video. Instead, we're going to go ahead over to LarryBirdle.com, which is kind of a ripoff. So if you go to LarryBirdle.com, it's the same thing. It doesn't look as good. It's, it's not sponsored by MLB. They technically have Swingle, and of course, it does say Inspired by Wardle, which was made by the guys who do Pickle. I've done one before. It was Andy Abanez. You can get them to show the silhouette, but... I think that's cheating. So instead, let's go ahead and try it out on here. Let's do a couple swingles or Larry Birdle, Wardle, Pickles. There's so many names for this. Just know it's MLB Wardle. Honestly, Andrew Benintendi was the first one that popped in my head. So let's see. Guess Andrew Benintendi. So he's a lefty hitter, lefty thrower. He's taller than five foot nine, under the age of 27, and the number is over 16. So he's in the National League as well. And it's not the Central. Let's think. Lefty lefties in the National League that are a little bit younger. I mean, I'm gonna try Juan Soto. I think it might just be Juan Soto, honestly. Is it? No, I didn't. Oh, he plays left field. I, I get ahead of myself sometimes and I forget to look at the positions, but it is the National League East. Lefty lefty and he's older than 23, younger than 27 with a number higher than 22. Okay, lefty lefty. Could this be, he's taller than 6'1". Could this be Max Freed? I think this could be Max Freed. I really do. Max Freed, final answer. Oh, okay, we got the pitcher, National League East. He's taller than 6'4". He's a lefty-lefty. Max Reed's 28. I didn't realize that. And the number's lower than 54. This one's getting a little bit tough. I'm not going to lie. On the Mets, lefty-lefty like that. Is this... Ooh, David Peterson? I think... Da Ooh, it could be David Peterson. What number is David Peterson? He's in the 50s. Is he 51, 52? Why do I feel like David Peterson is, like, right around this 50s number? I, I probably should know him. I'm a Mets fan. I'm literally wearing the hat, but... I'm thinking of big left-handed pitchers, and it's got to be... Why is his name not even popping up here? 
Peterson. Okay, I guess it can't be David Peterson considering his name doesn't even pop up. Um, big left-handed pitchers in the National League East. Let's keep thinking. This one really has me stumped. And it's not in the National, so it's either Mets, Phillies, or Marlins. A lefty lefty pitcher that's this big. Who is this? It's, it's not Brad Hand, right? It better not be Brad Hand. It's like one of my least favorite players. I also don't think he's 6'5. Brad Hand? No. Okay, it's not on the Phillies. So it's either on the Mets or the Marlins. This one, I'm not, I didn't even look at the age. The age is under 28. Use your mind, Mark. Use your brain. How is this not David Peterson? How is he not even allowed to be guest on here? This is crazy. Uh, okay, so it's either Mets or Marlins. He's under the age of 27, over 23. Big left handed left swinging pitcher. Marlins, Marlins pitchers, Marlins pitchers. Is it Tre Trevor Rogers? Trevor Rod I don't know if he swings lefty, but he definitely throws lefty. I don't I don't know how big he is. I'm gonna go with Trevor Rogers. Final answer. Hey, let's go. It is Trevor Rogers. Very nice. Okay, we're still alive. We still haven't lost one yet. Let's play again. Let's play another. Hope you guys are playing along with me at home and screaming at me saying, it's this guy. Are you are you blind? How do you not know? Let's start it off with a player out in the American League East and let's have some fun. Let's go with Kyle Higashioka, the home run stroker. Kyle Higashioka is, okay, so he's in the East. He's in the National League East and he's six foot one, not a catcher. He's under 31 and the number's under 66. That's honestly probably a bad starter. Let's go with someone on the Mets who is, oh, they're lefty lefty too. Another lefty lefty. Let's go with, uh, it's not going to be Jeff McNeil because he doesn't swim or he doesn't throw right or lefty. He throws righty. I kind of like the McNeil guess. Okay, so it's lefty lefty in the American or National League East. And I'm going to think of someone who hits and throws lefty lefty. Who could that be? That's not, that's not a lot of people, honestly. I mean, first base, Matt Olson doesn't. Reese Hoskins doesn't. Pete Alonzo doesn't. Dom Smith. Dom Smith. Could be Dom Smith. Dominic Smith. I think it could be Dom Smith. Is it? Ooh. That was such a good guess. That was such a good guess. Wow, they have him at left field too, which is interesting because he's more of a first baseman. Taller than six feet. Under the age of 26 and over the number of two. Wow. Okay, so he's a left fielder in the National League East. That's lefty lefty. And he's six foot one and he's under 26. Is this just Juan Soto? <laughs> is this just Juan Soto? I'm going to be... It is Juan Soto. It is Juan Soto. Okay. All right. That was an easy one. Let's play another. That was, I got that one in three. That was pretty good. I'm going to try. It'd be really fun to get one in one. And that's literally sheer luck. And that has nothing to do with actual skill. But we'll have some fun. Let's try it out. Uh, let's go National League Central. I'm thinking. How about Luis Castillo? Why is Luis, Ca why is Castillo? Luis Castillo's not on here? What? What is the grouping of players that is on this? Okay. Let's try out uh, Marcus Stroman, maybe. Marcus Stroman. How does he do? So Stroman gives us, okay, it is a pitcher. He's righty-righty. Obviously, he's taller than 5'7". Under the age of, th uh, wow. Again, I couldn't have picked a worse starter. His number is zero. Of course, it has to be higher than zero. And he's like one of the smallest players in the league. That was so bad. Okay, so he knows he's in the American League. He's not in the American League Central. And he's a right-handed pitcher. I'm going to go with, uh, is Christian Javier like an option? Christian Javier is an option. Let's try him out. Ooh, okay. That was good. We got the size. We got the age is within two years. A little bit older than 25 number higher than 53 that's an interesting one he's in the american league east so who has a number higher than 53 that's like 23 to 27 could this be alec manoa i i think he's like number four isn't he i don't think it's alec manoa man the number being higher than 53 honestly makes it a little tougher because you're starting to talk about relievers here what about jordan romano no he's i think he's huge but i'm just gonna guess him i think he's rather tall yeah he is he's not on the blue jays the age, so it's it's probably 27 then, because it's within that, and it's under 68. So he's in the 53 to 68 range, six foot one, right-handed pitcher, American League East, and he's 27. Uh, on the Rays, could this be someone on the Rays? Could this be a Luis Patino? Luis Patino, not even an option. Why does this not have all the players? That's kind of frustrating. Is it is Severino? Is Severino this? I think Severino might be it, honestly. Oh man, he's 28 and he's six foot two. That was really, really close. So we know he's not on the Blue Jays. We know he's not on the Yankees. Right-handed pitcher on the Red Sox. It, how is Tanner Houck not on here? It feels like he would fit perfectly, Tanner Houck. Could this be Tyler Glasnow? Okay, Tyler Glasnow is not even on here. What? What is the criteria swingle? I'm sorry. I, I thought this was going to have more players. I'm not backing out of this video now. Half this game is me seeing if players are available on this database. You have Drew Rasmussen? Sure, let's go Drew Rasmussen. How, 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 how did it end up being Drew Rasmussen? I swear, that was just me throwing one out there because I was like, who's a right-handed pitcher on the Rays who's young? Drew Rasmussen, wonderful, love that. Let's play again, maybe one, one, one more, two more, depending how quickly it goes. 
We'll see how we do. All right, let's start this out with my favorite player right now in baseball, Pete Alonzo. Let's go ahead and guess. Not a bad guess. National League first baseman. So he's in the Central or the West. He's under the age of 27. He's a right-handed hitter and a left-handed thrower. Ooh, okay, that makes it a little bit more interesting. A lefty-righty at first base. That's under 27 years of age with a number over 20. So I don't think this is the Dodgers because they have Freddie Freeman and Cody Bellinger and Max Muncy. Those guys don't fit. The Giants, I don't think it's Brandon Bell. He's older. Ooh, I think this is Jake. Oh, but Jake Cronenworth, Jake Cronenworth can't be 6'3", right? There's no way Jake Cronenworth is 6'3". Is he? Okay, he's six feet tall and they have him listed at second base. That's fine. We do know it's in the West though. So who's the first baseman? Who's the first baseman for the Rockies? It's CJ Crone. Then for the Diamondbacks, it's Christian Walker. Who's a left-handed swinging, right-handed throwing first baseman that's under the age of 27? Seth Beer? Seth Beer? I think this is Seth Beer. I think this is. Yep, it is Seth Beer. Okay, that one was good. That one was good. That one was fun. We'll play another one because that one was rather quick. I'm not going to lie. For this last one that we're going to play here, let's go with Yasmani Grandal. Let's see where Yasmani Grandal leads us. So, six foot two, right handed throwing. He's not a switch hitter. He's under the age of 33, not in the American League. So, it's going to be National League and not in the Central. So, National League East or West. Let's pick someone from the National League West. Let's go with Cody Bellinger. I like Cody. Oh, wait. Isn't he? What number is Cody? Why is Cody Bellinger not on here? Why is Cody Bellinger not on this game? What is going on with this database? Um, okay, let's go with someone else. Let's go with Chris. No, Chris Taylor might be a little too old. Or, nope, Corey Seager's not on that team. Let's go with Trey Turner. Trey Turner. Is it Trey Turner? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good guess. It's in the National League West. Not a shortstop, not a catcher. Six foot two, righty, righty, over the age of 28, under the age of 33. The number's higher than six, lower than 24. All right, let's go. Let's think about the Giants. Uh, the Giants. How about, I don't think Alex Cobb is going to work, but could this be Manny Machado? Could this be Manny Machado? It might be. It's not. Okay, but it, it's not the Padres either. We do get a little more information with the age. He's going to be 30 years old, and his number's higher than 13, lower than 24. It looks like he's not an infielder, so I should probably stop guessing, especially because Machado probably could have gotten the yellow because he played a little shortstop when Tatis got hurt. Uh, could this be Herman Marquez? I, I kind of like Herman Marquez as a guess. Herman Marquez. It is the Rockies. He's not a pitcher, so we know he's a hitter for the Rockies who didn't play the... CJ Crone. It could be CJ Crone, honestly. No, it could be CJ Crone. It... Could be CJ Crone. I'm going with it. Oh, it's not CJ Crone. That was so close. He's too big. He's too big. We're, we're getting close here. We might not win this one. Rockies outfielder, right-handed Randall Grichik. Is Randall Grichik going to be the guest? It is Randall Grichik. Oh, love it. Actually, I weirdly have a Randall Grichik card right in front of me, which I don't, I don't know why I have this card. Actually, I do. I'm selling it for my friend. Actually, I lied. I think I already packaged it up to sell it. I don't have the Randall Gritchick card anymore. But yeah, that was MLB Pickle, Wordle, Wardle, Swingle, whatever you want to call it. It's the MLB version of Wordle. If you guys want to see more of this on the channel, please do drop a like on the video. If you do, I will start recording tonight when the newest Pickle comes out. I'll do it for a week straight and then drop that video later. Well, as soon as the week is done, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the content. Again, I know I've been gone for two weeks. I apologize. I need a mental break. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know why. Here's a little bit of insight into my life. There's some really big things going on behind the scenes. Some some crazy big stuff going on that I'll be excited to announce to you guys really soon. I can't say it yet, but it is coming soon. Now that everything's starting to calm down, I'm ready to hunker down, record some videos, get you guys content again, and start talking baseball with you guys because that's truly what I love doing. So keep an eye out for the bangers, and I, I mean it bangers coming the rest of this month it's going to be a sick sick month for content thank you guys for the amazing support and sticking with me even though i disappeared for i don't know a long time now but i'm glad i'm back and i'm glad you're watching you guys know the drill from here on out youtube recommends you watch this video this is my most recent upload click through those if you have not yet seen them thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for another video that's right tomorrow bye